A vain stag. A stag was thirsty. He went to a pool to drink water. The pond water was calm and clear. He bent down to drink water. He saw his reflection in it when he saw his horns. He felt proud of them. He said to himself, How beautiful and lovely my horns. While he looked to his legs, he felt sad and disappointed and cursed God for this injustice. He was yet to quench his thirst when he saw a hunter with his hounds. Seeing his life in danger, the stag ran as fast as he could. He was soon out of sight. He reached a thick forest, but unluckily, his horns got stuck in a thick bush. He tried his best to release his horns, but all in vain. In the meantime, the hounds came running and caught him. The stag now realized that the legs, he had despised a little while ago, helped him in saving his life, but the beautiful horns became, because of his death. Moral, all that glitters is not gold. A faithful dog, Neil loves to travel, and he was so fond of forests, whenever he plans for a holiday, he would choose a place that is blessed, by mother nature, to celebrate his son's second birthday, he decided to stay and enjoy the celebration in woods, located at the lap of a mountain. He with his family and friends reached the village located near the woods and had his stay in the cottage. The cottage was located at the entrance of the dense forest where the guests can view animals roaming in the nearby place. Nielsen saw a dog at the door and offered him a biscuit. The dog was happy and very soon. The little boy befriended the dog. On second day, the birthday of the boy was celebrated grandly in the woods. Within beautiful nature, the dog did not leave the boy even for a minute and they both became close pals. The next day, Neil, his wife and others, decided to go for hunting in the forest and arranged a babysitter to take care of the little for half a day. After three hours, all the elders returned to the cottage and they seemed very tired. The dog saw Neil and others. It rushed to them and licked Neil's shoes. The cottage was open and nobody was there. Man with dog Niall's wife was shocked to see the blood stains in the dog's mouth and she shouted. All of them thought that the dog has killed Neil's little boy. Everyone was shocked to see the blood spattered mouth and started to lash the dog. The dog screamed in pain. Neil hit the dog with his gun and it was wounded badly. Hearing the dog's screaming noise, the babysitter rushed to the entrance with Neil's son. They were all speechless and inquired what happened to the dog and why blood stains in the dog's mouth was. The babysitter told that the boy was about to get attacked by a wolf which roamed around the house. But luckily it was killed by the dog. She showed the dead wolf to them. They felt so bad and offered first aid to the wounded dog. Haste makes waste. Decisions made in hurry won't be helpful. The dishonest doctor. Once an old lady lost her eyesight and became blind. She called a doctor and agreed to pay him a very big amount if he cured her but she will not give a single penny if she is not cured. Dr. Daly came to her house for treatment. He started stealing ladies' furniture and other valuable things from the house. He took away every day one thing from ladies' house, so he delayed curing the lady. He cured the lady after he had removed all the furniture and valuable articles from the lady's house. Now Dr. 
demanded his fee from the lady, but she refused to pay the fees and said that she is not fully cured. Doctor registered a case against her in the court on being asked by the judge why she was not paying the fee. She told the court that her eyesight is not fully restored. She could not see her furniture and other articles in the house. The judge was very clever. He understood the matter and punished the doctor. Moral: dishonesty never wins. Half of the profit. A rich man wanted to give a great feast to his friends. He got all kinds of dishes prepared, but he could not get fish. He offered a reward to the man who would bring it. After some time, a fisherman brought a big fish, but the gatekeeper would not let him until he had promised to give him half the reward. The fisherman agreed. The rich man was highly pleased and wanted to give him a lot of money, but the fisherman refused to take it. Instead, he demanded a hundred lashes on his back. All were surprised. At last, the rich man ordered a servant to give him a hundred lashes. When the fisherman had received fifty, he asked them to stop, as he had a partner in the business. It was the gatekeeper. The rich man understood the whole thing. He was given the remaining fifty lashes, dismissed from the service. The rich man gave the fisherman. A handsome reward. The selfish dog. A farmer had an ox and a dog. The ox helped him in his fields, and the dog watched the house at night. One evening, the ox returned home very tired. He was very hungry. He went to the manger to eat hay, but he found the dog sitting on it. The dog barked at him and would not let him eat it. The ox said to the dog, "Please get aside and let me eat the hay. It is of no use to you." But the four-hour nature dog replied, "Since I myself cannot eat the hay, I will not let anyone else have it." So the ox had to go hungry that day. There are some selfish people in the world also. They would not let others have what they themselves cannot get. They follow the dog in the manger policy.